One of the features that makes Elixir such a great programming language is pattern matching. In fact, in Elixir, the equal sign is called the match operator. Let's see why. Let's fire up IEX and start with a simple example. We'll set the string A to the variable A, and then let's put the string A on the left side and our variable A on the right side. And because these match, meaning the left side equals the right side, the string A was returned. Now let's see what happens if the two sides aren't equal. Elixir tells us there's a match error because both sides of the equal sign don't match. While this is a simple example, it does illustrate a good idea to keep in mind when doing pattern matching in Elixir. Both sides of the equal sign need to match. Now let's explore a few different ways we can use it. One way we can use it is to pull values from different data structures by matching on them. Let's first try with the map. We'll create a map with some info about a person. Now if we wanted to grab the name and age from our person map, how could we do that with pattern matching? Let's try this. We'll create a map on the left side with name and age as variables for their respective keys. And if both sides of the equal sign match, our variables will be updated with their corresponding values. And it looks like it worked. The variable age has been updated with the age of our person, and the variable name has been updated with the name. Now let's test out pattern matching with a list. We'll create a list of colors, and we can use pattern matching to deconstruct the whole list. And now we see all of our variables have been updated to their corresponding element in the list. You'll also see pattern matching play a role in another common pattern used in Elixir to break apart lists. Specifically, to break apart the first element or head of a list from the remainder or tail. Let's try it out with our same list. And the head variable is now the string red, while the tail is a list made up of our original list minus the first element. As you write more Elixir, you'll see pattern matching everywhere. And another common example is with the OK error tuple. Let's see what it looks like. We'll create our OK tuple where the first element is the atom OK, and for the second element, we'll create a message. And then we can grab our message by creating another tuple on the left side that has the same atom OK, and then a variable we can use to assign the second element in the tuple the message. And since both sides matched, the message variable is now our string success. Now let's take this example and build on it. Imagine we have some movie API that responds with this structure when we try to create a movie with it. Let's create a function that will parse the response, grabbing either the success or error message, and return it. Let's first create a file, matcher.exs. Then we'll create our new module, matcher. And inside we'll define a function, getMessage, which will take our API's response. Then inside the function, we'll use a case statement to pattern match on the contents of the response. If the first element in the response tuple is the atom OK, our first statement will execute. And if the first element in our response tuple is the atom error, our second statement will execute. Let's create our success response. Then let's pass that into our get message function. And it returns our success message. Now for our error response. And our error message was returned. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.